Hello, I'm Juliet Edwards with your SCB News Break for Wednesday, June 7th. The Castic Lake Water Agency has released the 2017 Annual Water Quality Report. An executive summary of the report states that no E. coli was detected in any drinking water system in the Santa Clarita Valley last year. Additional tests did not detect waterborne parasites in any sample of Castic Lake water and no traces of lead were detected. However, arsenic is present due to the natural erosion of rocks and various contaminants from septic systems, pesticides, and stormwater runoff can be found in source water. To see the full executive summary of the report, head to scvnews.com. One arrest was made after a brief pursuit around 4.30 Tuesday night, June 6. The chase began on Newhall Ranch Road when sheriff's deputies attempted to pull the suspect over for driving a stolen vehicle. The driver collided with two vehicles during the pursuit while reaching speeds of 70 miles per hour. Deputies were able to detain one suspect near Santa Clarita Central Park after a foot pursuit through Saugus. We are going to take a quick break, but when we come back, find out when to register for the summer 2017 Cowboy Football Camp at Canyon. Plus, find out who was named Volunteer of the Year by the Placerita Canyon Nature Center after the break. Families come in all sizes and shapes. Sometimes your friends are your family by choice, or sometimes you're just stuck with Uncle Charles. But what we know is that you want to protect the people that are close to you. But the flu can unravel everything. Your flu vaccine protects you and your family. No matter what draws your family together, protect yourself, protect your family. Everyone needs a flu vaccine. I spent 18 years in foster care. I lived in over 25 different foster homes. And now I have a forever family. Children's Rights shines a spotlight on failing foster care systems and uses the law to protect tens of thousands of kids. I was supported in foster care. Now I'm supporting others. <laughs> Please help give tens of thousands of kids in foster care the productive and the happy lives they deserve. Welcome back. Registration is now open to young football players for the three-day summer Cowboy football camp. The camp kicks off on Monday, June 19th and runs through Wednesday, June 21st from 9 in the morning to 2 in the afternoon. Canyon's head coach, Rich Gutierrez, and his Canyon High coaching staff will all be conducting the football camp. To register, go to santa-clarita.com slash seasons. Ruth Ann Murthy has been named 2017 Volunteer of the Year by the Placerita Canyon Nature Center Associates Board of Directors. She began training as a volunteer at Placerita Nature Center back in 2014. Since she was a teacher before volunteering, she decided to use that to her advantage. Having an interest in the native plants, she began a new program called Blooms of the Season that allows her to share her knowledge about plants. She will receive her official recognition at the Eaton, Eaton Canyon Nature Center in September. Now turning to weather. Wednesday will have lows in the mid-50s, and Thursday there will be a high of 78 with a low of 56. Friday will be mostly sunny with the highs of 79. Saturday and Sunday will also have sunny skies with Saturday in the mid-70s and Sunday in the low 70s. That's all for your SCV News Break. For more local news, you can log on to hometownstation.com or scvnews.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Juliet Edwards.